All right, we're gonna save you guys some money on these retractable trailer straps. I'm gonna tell you guys what I like about these and what I dislike about these. Uh, don't get me wrong, not, they're not, I'm not knocking these at all, but there's some things that you need to know about before you purchase these. And then I'm gonna tell you what I replaced these with. So they're in my hand for a reason, right? I literally, can you see this bolt right here? It was sitting up like this. And I literally just snapped it off. But that's a mistake on me that I don't want you guys to make. So, you know, I'm trying to, like I said, I'm trying to save you guys some money. First and foremost, these are like super easy to use. Do not get me wrong. Attach this to your, your D loop or whatever you got, you know, if you're doing a kayak or a John boat or out as far as high as I would go. <laughs> I'm gonna explain that later. But kayak or something like that, or if you don't, if you're, you know, ratcheting something down on your truck, trailer, whatever case may be, sure, put that on. This is an easy, Wait, once you push this button down, it's supposed to, it's a spring in here that retracts this back into this little casing here. Then you just ratchet it down. Super, super easy to use, man. I actually love it. I had this for about a year now. Love the system. Do not get me wrong. Like I said, fairly easy to use, fairly easy to install. But again, I'm the one who made a mistake. So I believe these are perfect for guys who want to, you know, tie down a kayak or a John boat that is not rigged out like mine. Like I have heavy motor, plywood everywhere. Uh, trolling motor, battery up front, battery up back, I carry a live well, two people turn it, uh, John boat fishing. Do a lot with this boat. This boat is a lot heavier than a normal John boat. I think that this retractable ratchet strap is perfect for the guys who might be doing a regular John boat, okay? Like bare bones, motor, gas tank, maybe a trolling motor, I don't know. I think it's perfect for the guys, as well as kayak people, as well as people who just wanna, you know, strap something down their back of their truck. I don't want to have to deal with the long ropes of, you know, the straps themselves. So they use something that's retractable. Super simple, super easy, and I think those are perfect for it. Where I messed up at, like I said, trying to use this on a heavier application, okay? This, this John Boat weighs like twice as much as a regular, twice, maybe three times as much as a regular John Boat, just because of what's all in it. Of course, bait, tackle, you name it. So with that being said, this sucker gave out on me, all right? That bolt that I showed you earlier, that, that wasn't supposed to be like that. It's supposed to look like this here. Uh, like I said, you, you attach it to your you know trailer, whatever your you know, whatever your application is, and all you do is just ratchet down you know to your D loop or whatever you're strapping down to. Worked perfect. Like I said, I had, had it for about a year. Now my only issue that I came across with these, this uh, is a spring inside of here that allows us to retract. All right, once you push this button, the mechanism or spring has stopped working. Like I said, I think it's seized up in there because I'm dumping this boat into wherever. I mean, I. I Fish the Potomac River. I went over the Patuxent River, which is slightly brackish, which slightly has some salt water, which probably that's not supposed to go to. And again, I messed it up by having this on a bigger, heavier application than what it's probably supposed to be on. Mistake on me, and please don't make the same mistake, okay? So, after I've wasted my money and hopefully saved you guys some money, I'm gonna show you what I'm changing to. This right here, called boat buckles, right? Looks like a fairly simple system, uh, also retractable. A buddy of mine, Naeem, from Bass Brothers Fishing DMV, I'll leave his link to his YouTube channel down below. He has them on his John boat, his John boat is actually decked out even more than mine. <laughs> uh, but he's actually put me on to them. He said he's had them for you know, a good little while now and he loves them. Uh, these are actually rated like 2,500 pounds worth of power, strength, whatever you want to name it. These are definitely heavy duty, retractable ratchet strap, uh, tie downs for your you know, boat, trailer, whatever you guys, are, you know, your application is. But he recommended them, he said he loves them, so I definitely picked up a pair, and we're gonna definitely put them to the test. I try to take my boat out literally every chance I can, so I'm definitely gonna put these things to the test. This isn't a, you know, take it out three times a year kind of thing. No. All right, hopefully you guys can see this. This is my finished product here of putting the new one on. I have a bracket that I bought. I'll put that down on link, link down below in the description, but it's a small bracket, gives like a little extension. So this strap right here can go directly straight up, straight up to my D loop. You see how easy that was? Like, as long as the uh, release button is, is released down here at the bottom, the little gray button back there. And thanks, neighbors, trying to, you know, record some cool stuff. Neighbors took care of business. You guys, do me a favor, take one second today. Go check out waterlandco.com. Some amazing gear and absolutely amazing glasses, okay? Some of the best glasses on the market and the prices are not crazy <laughs> like other companies out there. These right here in particular are called the Bed Fishers. Actually just came out, so make sure you go grab you a pair. Use code GTX to save you some at checkout. You sight fishermen, and of course this time of year where people are bed fishing. Like I said, these are called the Bed Fishers. Check them out at waterlandcode.com. Use code GTX. Save you guys some money at checkout. Back to the video. You know, let's start from, from the beginning. It's a little release button. This comes right, retracts by itself, no problem. You're strapping up after you get off the water. It's retractable, works great. Onto the D loop, then literally, like 
one or two pulls, like nothing crazy. She ain't going nowhere. This thing's not lifting up, okay? And everything's solid. I used the previous bracket, the previous bolt back here through my trailer. The bolt buckle itself came with some hardware, don't get me wrong. It was supposed to go through something like this here. See that hole right there? Uh, but my boat didn't set up just like that. My trailer, my trailer is actually a hair short <laughs> compared to my entire boat. That's that's literally it. Then once you're you know about to launch your boat, that little release button ha it has a button on both sides. But you can release here or release on the opposite side. Hit the release button. That allows you to take that D loop off, and you're good to go. Might lock it in place just for you know. Nothing gets snagged when it takes it out. I'll be back with a year update. One button release, stretch up, lock on. One, maybe two if you want. Otherwise, she's she's in there. It's not it's not raised enough. I don't need to crank this thing down. So perfect. I'm not saying those are bad. They were used in the wrong application by me. I think they're perfect for people like I said, kayaks or small things to strap it down to a trailer or the back of a truck. I think that those will work just fine. I wouldn't recommend putting them in salt water or completely submerging them in the water like I was doing multiple times every chance I could. Yeah, don't do that with those. Okay, use them properly. They'll probably last you just fine. You know, plenty amount of time, probably last. Buy the right stuff first for your application. I'll leave links down to both these items down below. Appreciate you guys tuning into my shenanigans. Like I said, I'll leave these items linked down below, guys. You guys make the best choice for you and your application. Just make sure you buy what's best for your application, okay? Again, I'll leave the links down below. If you want guys want more helpful tips, please check out the channel. You guys have fun, be safe out there. If this video helped you out, give it a thumbs up. If it didn't help you out, give it a double tap on that dislike button. See you guys in the next one, take care.